this is another lie because they had just called him. He said, weren't you on the live last night? Oh, yeah. But he just said he was kicking back. Crackhead shit. This is the crackhead shit I be talking about. Go back to the videotape. It can be just. All right, you're trolling him. How am I trolling him? We are talking about personal information. You see, that's what I'm saying. You don't even get the context of what DB and everyone on the panel. You don't get no context, bro. Yes, you do because you would understand my comment, dog. You would understand the comment. Yo, this is crazy, dog. Yo, they're they're up there. What up, Rockham? Yo, what's up? Hey, bro. On my dead mom, I did not leak your information. I did not save your information in no sort or no manner. Now, let me ask you this, Rockham. I got something that came across my desk that said when you posted our thread in that Discord, you said that you deleted your name and address. Is that right or wrong? I just just took a link like five minutes ago and I said that. Okay, so he deleted it, right? One second. All right. So for the people that are not keeping up, right, there was an instance where uh, an individual in the community by the name of Rock Him, he had, they, I guess they had done some type of joke where they they used uh, they used his real name on like a troll account, right? So the thing is that that Rock Him, the the person the person that's in the chat is saying, well, you know, how do people know my real name? You know, obviously my information has gotten leaked, right? And he made a statement where he said that there was only specific people that he had ever purchased anything from. Um, and I was de- I was definitely one of them. Obviously me, you know, him being a part of my community, he's purchased t-shirts off of me. Um, I believe that he had purchased something directly off of me, which would tie me directly to him. And then he had purchased a, a shirt that was made by Mello. What I did was I just third party. He'll just say this sent three dollar salute Zaya. Good content and you cooking. Gordon Ramsay at his finest serving up them Michelin star right, dishes right, on the fuck right. shit. Back to the origins of section eight and its height of the fuck shit. Yeah. I'll just say this fuck Bobby Pesos. He's super pussy. Okay, perfect timing, right? Salute, man. Uh shout out to I'll just say this. Salute uh, Zaya, good content and you cooking. Gordon Ramsay at his finest, serving up them Michelin star dishes on the fuck shit. Back to the origins of Section 8 and its height of the fuck shit. I'll just say this. Fuck Bobby Pesos. He is super pussy. Right? And I say perfect timing because, again, uh, the person rock him who's saying that his name is leaked He's saying, bro, there's nobody else that would have my name other than the people that I've ordered stuff from on YouTube, which is in this community, one being me, where I believe he purchased directly from me, right? So I'm tied to him. Then he had purchased a t-shirt where I was just a third party of. Technically, um, so I print t-shirts a certain type of way, and I knew somebody else in the community that was part of my community that he printed t-shirts another type of way, or he, I think he hand-designed them, right? He, uh, and he would do the work himself. So all I did, right? Rob making fun of me right here. He's saying, why you, why'd you believe in a crackhead, right? Now, I, I don't want to say that Mello was a crackhead. I'm just going to say that, like, whatever issues he had, that, like, that's, that wasn't my concern. He knew how to make shirts a certain type of way. And it was, like, to, still to this day, one of the dopest T-shirts that anybody has, number one, either made me. Uh, and in that instance, made where I could profit off of it if I wanted to, Okay. I chose not to, but I could have because the t-shirt was that dope. I believe he made a couple of sales, you know, and hope and, you know, if, if he sold him after, I would never be mad. It was his design. He came up with it. It was just fire. I still have mine and I still wear mine. Send people my address. Okay. So again, I, I don't want to leave y'all hanging there. Let me see if I give you all the info. Again, the two individuals were linked. Uh, I believe some other people, uh, shout out to Chilltown. Chilltown was one of these because I think Chilltown was on that list of people that he had done business with. Okay. Uh, what we didn't know and where where we, me and Melo are having the argument is because, yo, I'm like, yo, bro, you in a chat where someone is using that name, right? And it's part of customer information that we're linked to. Like, we can't be, you know, I've always told you all that. Like, that's one of my rules. Like, I'm not entertaining people talking about my business. Right. Like you can call me every name of the well, anything other than fucking pedophile. But at that point, like that's another one of my rules. Like there's one thing you can't call me. And there's another thing that you can't assume with me. Like I need hard, factual proof that I am some type of scammer or some shit before I even entertain someone in my chat, either saying I'm a scammer or saying that, you know, like uh, uh, I'm leaking customer information. Like, bro, like there ain't no reason for me to do that. And it's not to gloat because it's based off facts. But I do pretty well for myself for me to be leaking customer information, okay? Even to the point where, like, 
yo, I wanted to know earlier today, like, who sent the dono that turned this motherfucker into this snowball? Who sent that dono? Whoever you are, you shall remain anonymous. But boy, oh boy, do some people just hit it out the park with a dono. It do it free! Melo a crackhead sent two dollars. Rob is saying that because Melo had been on one of Tony's panels saying how he used to be on drugs back in the day and Rob had been pushing that. Melo and Tony fell out because Melo thought Tony told Rob that. Can we talk about Babs though and Trolla? Alright, uh, shout to Melo a crackhead, alright? Uh, Rob is saying that because Melo had been on one of Tony's panels, Tony d 2 Wild, saying how he used to be on drugs back in the day, and Rob had been pushing that. Melo and Tony fell out because Melo thought Tony told Rob that. Can we talk about Pebsdo and Trolla? At some point, I'm not going anywhere, please. Can I have a little fun with this? I'll try to speed it up. I just, I was trying to give y'all a breakdown, all right? I'm having fun with this right now. We definitely gonna talk about Trolla, though. 1,000%. I'm not leaving before I do, okay? Hold me to that, but I'm cooking right now, all right? Let me have fun, please. We're drinking beers. Uh, we might smoke a little weed. You never know, all right? When I buy anything, and they send IG. I send it and I let it stay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You interrupted me. So with the so-called leaking of the information, what we didn't know was that there was another individual by the name of Bobby Pesos, right? And uh, he was another individual that was obviously in the community, right? And what he had done was, I guess him and Rakim had gotten into some type of back and forth. So remember, there's Rakim, which is the person who is in the chat. Rakim complaining that his shit got leaked. We suspects. But what had happened was that Rakim didn't realize that he had some type of video on his YouTube page, right? Back then, you could click the three little red dots and it would take you to the, the channel. And what I mean is y'all could do it. Like right now in the chat, you can't do that, right? If you try to, like if Swag wanted to look at JFam, he can't click JFam and go straight to JFam channel. Can he? Does anybody know that in the chat? Can you? Can anybody confirm this for me? Can you? Can you click on like any one of y'all in the chat? Can you click on anybody else's name and then it'll take you to the channel? Let me get this bevy, man. Pebs, do you know that? What? Can you click on anybody else's name in the chat and go to their channel? No. no. Back then, you could do that. That was a YouTube feature that you could do that. You know what I mean? So, so. All he did, oh, let me get to that motherfucking mic, right? No, you can't do it, right? Not, not anymore. Yes. So back then, at that time, you could do it. So the Bobby Pesos had a back and forth with Rock Kim on his own, and then Bobby Pesos was able to go to his channel, and he was able to look at videos, and he was able to see where Rock Kim had, uh, I think, done like some type of unboxing or something like that, and you could see the address on the box. So he was able to see that, and he was able to troll Rakim with his real name. I think them higgas leaked his address and all that shit. That's why Rob talking about, yo, y'all higgas think it's joke, man. Y'all leaking addresses and stuff like that. I think Rakim was one of the people. His address got leaked. His, But it was it was really it, because it was on Rakim's channel. Somebody was able to you know, really track that and find it and then use that against him. All right? So it wasn't Mello. We're here fighting with Mello, and you know, it was for nothing. And you know, it sucks. That, you know, motherfuckers had a fallout over somebody, somebody really trolling, in all honesty. Like, the fallout was over somebody trolling. It really was over Bobby Pesos trying to troll Rakim, you know? But, you know, Bobby Pesos didn't get the information because it got leaked from any of us, which Rakim had done business with. It got leaked from Rakim's channel. Okay? So, it was fucked up. But this caused a big breakup because I think I, I want to say that I want to say that me and some of the members were already kind of maybe having issues. Um, I don't know, bro. I was. I wonder if it was before or after. Kim thinks that 